So hello guys, uh, I'm going to start a new series on Apache Airflow. So in this series, I'll be talking everything about uh, Apache Airflow, like how to install Apache Airflow using Docker container in your local machine. And then I will go further uh, by uh, building the data pipeline, ML pipeline, scheduling and everything. Okay. So let's start with the very first step that is how to set up and install Apache Airflow in your local Windows machine. Okay. So for that, there are certain steps I have already noted down here, everything. Okay. Okay, so I will share this uh, text file so that you can refer for later purpose as well. Okay, so no worries. Uh, what is the first step? Basically, just create a folder named Airflow in your project directory wherever you have set up everything. Okay, I have named it Airflow Live Demo just for uh, demo purpose. So no need to worry about that. Just create a folder with Airflow. Okay, and inside that uh, you need to create a certain more folder. So what is the first folder you need to create? Basically, DAX. So that is Directed Acyclic Graph. So because when uh, Apache Airflow is mostly used for a uh pipeline creation kind of uh, stacking uh, all the different tasks together and running in sequence or uh, whatever uh, dependent manner okay so that you will learn in later videos okay so that's for that purpose we need DAX and then other folder like uh, for uh, logs so anything uh, related to any uh, step anything goes wrong or any uh, 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 thing related to logs will come and dump under under logs folder okay and then uh, there is a third folder called plugins okay so anything related to plugins so that is here okay so um I will talk about uh, more detail of each and every folder once uh, we start with pipeline building. Okay. So for now, today I'm just concentrating on uh, setting up everything. So for that, you need these three folder. And what else need the two most important thing is like Docker desktop and Docker compose file. So for that, uh, you need to install Docker desktop if you have not installed by now. So for that, you can this link Docker and from here you can install Docker. You just go uh, type a Docker desktop on Windows in Google and you will just redirect to this link but also i will give all the links in my description box okay and from here this link you can simply click and then a docker desktop installer will be downloaded and by simple some double clicks it will be installed in your windows machine okay next thing is you need basically a docker compose file for apache releases so uh, from this uh, link again i will give this link to you from this link, you can uh, see, okay, what are the latest releases of Apache Airflow? I'm going with the latest release, okay, 2.8.1. With respect to that, you need to uh, download the Docker Compose file. So for that, where you can find Docker Compose file, again, in this link, in this link, again, I will give. So here, by uh, changing this 2.8.1 to the other releases, if you want to work for a specific release, okay, then you can just change this uh, version with the, these versions, okay, and then you can download that Docker file, uh, Docker Compose file. But I'm going to work on the latest docker compose file so what you can do save inside the same folder yeah, as a text file it will be saved okay and now if you go to that directory these things are set up okay so this you no need to download it is downloading unnecessary okay you just delete that is not required docker desktop because in my system it is already installed okay so now we have dax folder we have logs we have plugins and docker compose file okay so now if i go to VS code in same folder. Okay, so what you can do basically by using this, um, you can open that folder. Okay, select folder, then it will open like this. And then inside Docker Compose, you can see, okay, some configuration and all the installable, everything is defined. Okay, so let's understand the most important thing here. So here, um, you can read all the commenting part later, okay? But the uh, important thing is start from this image. So image is referring the Docker image of Airflow 2.8.1, okay? Again, here, again, if you want to install some other version, then you need to change here. And then same, um, uh, I mean, if you are uh, installing other Docker Compose file, you're downloading other Docker Compose file, then of course it will refer to that version. But from here also you can change, but in, in that case, you might need to change some other configuration as well. But so it is kind of not advisable just download that respective version okay and then here uh, some configuration and then let's talk about important one so here uh, we have these volume okay so you see we have created logs dax uh, plugins these um, you can create config as well okay so these folder we have created so what it will happen basically the moment you initialize the airflow okay so your local uh, folder these folders will be mounted and mapped or synced to this location okay so any dag or anything any log will be created okay so everything will be to your local folder as well okay because 
these will be configured inside container because the moment uh, we are initializing the airflow it will be everything will be running inside a container containerized manner right so that's where so these will be synced locally and then what are the services basically so to run airflow we need some database so that's where our first service is postgres and then uh, second is like redis so what redis will do basically so we have a scheduler and worker so scheduler is nothing but it will schedule the task and then worker will execute the particular task but how the task move from scheduler to worker so that is the job of redis okay this is a message broker so it acts like a broker okay so this is uh, redis and then a web server so this is nothing but like it will open a kind of web ui from where you can access all the airflow related things and then scheduler as i explained already so scheduler service will is nothing but it will uh, uh, try to schedule the particular task okay and worker it is it is going to execute the task and then a triggerer so for example you want to a trigger a task on event based for example you want to trigger a particular task or a particular a time so for that triggerer will be used okay and then yeah, airflow initialize so this is nothing but the initialization purpose okay so these are the important thing uh, available here that's what i have explained okay so let's not go much into detail okay so now what you can do basically now you need to initialize this so what you can do so i have again noted here so what we did basically we created the folders we installed docker desktop we downloaded docker compose.yaml and other releases also we have seen okay and then uh, now what you need to do the fourth step is like docker compose app and uh, airflow in it okay so what you can do here uh, if you go to terminal from here you can open the terminal okay and uh, you need to be uh, present inside the same directory okay so here you see like i am inside the same directory where i have uh, created those folders and docker compose is available okay so from here you can run this so i'm just trying to uh, run this so let me open this uh, uh, docker desktop side by side so you can see okay what is happening inside your container as of now you see there is no container related to airflow okay we have only a mini cuban ml container available okay so the moment i hit enter there it will do something so let's see what it is doing so let me enter here so now it see it is uh, pulling those uh, redis so here uh, you have seen all the services right uh, you remember i just explained so like it's starting from redis then web server so let me go yeah services right so first is postgres then uh, redis so like this so these services are being initialized so what is happening let me yes yeah, so it is pulling pulling so uh, for example for redis uh, whatever is needed it is it has pulled for postgres it is pulling okay for air and then it will initialize for initialization it also needs something okay so some uh, libraries sub supporting configuration and everything okay so it will take some time so let it do so here uh as of now there is nothing right inside container so uh, the moment uh, it has pulled everything and everything is uh, up and running then you will see a uh, airflow container with seven different services inside that uh, airflow now you see here uh, it has uh, pulled everything and now it has created so network airflow live demo so this is anyway our folder okay and postgres db is uh, created already and then uh, redis it is creating and postgres database it is creating okay and then scheduler and everything it will create worker and everything okay so now if i see to docker deck so it is still nothing here okay so it will come so if you see in the images part right images part uh, it has downloaded many things like apache airflow it came right so all these redis came postgres came so these images have already came here right and now if you see go to the container so now you see airflow live demo this container got created okay and inside that uh, we have airflow initialize this is service postgres service redis service so these three services got created and some more services will uh, still be created okay so let's wait now you see here uh, air, user airflow created with role admin right it has uh, got created and now if you want to uh, make it up docker compose up okay so now it will really start so now you see what all things it has started if now you go to your desk docker desktop so see if i expand this now so we have initialize service scheduler service triggerer service web server service worker service postgres and that is all service right so i got created and now how you can access the ui simply you go to your browser and just type localhost 
okay 8080 and in this your uh, post uh, apache airflow will be running so what happens it is still not up let me see what is happening so it was still uh, working so what also you can do you can open a new terminal and then you can see uh, what all uh, services are running using docker ps okay so let's see let's just double check what is happening here no 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 So Airflow worker, it is healthy. Uh, trigger is healthy. Cellular is healthy. Web server is healthy. Uh, Redis is healthy. Okay. So let me see which uh, uh, port it has created. So it is in 8080 only. So let me open. Yeah. So now it is opening. Okay. Uh, so what happens to the, yeah, it, now it got up. So it was taking basically some time. Okay. So now what you can do using admin, admin, you can log in. No, sorry, not admin, using Airflow. Okay, using the Airflow as a user and Airflow as a password, you can do the login. And <clears throat> the moment you do sign in, so you can uh, be navigated here. So inside DAG, you see all the DAGs basically, nothing but the pipeline. Okay, <clears throat> and these are the default uh, pipelines available here. Okay, so if you just simply go to any of the pipeline and you want to run this, then from here you can run and you will see. Okay, here it is started and it started running so i mean see the once it finished okay so everything will be shown here so basically a status is running is still running and once it got success you will now you see success okay it ran so basically this is how you can uh set up um, apache airflow locally okay so in the description box i will give all the steps so can you can follow all these steps okay and uh, sometime it takes few minutes to make all the services up because you see right uh, in the starting it was not opening this up uh, at zero, zero right so that's why you need to wait for some time but it will certainly uh, uh, be working if you follow all these steps in the sequence manner whatever available in the description box okay so that's all in next video i'm going to tell you like how to create a data pipeline using apache airflow okay so that's it for today's and if you are in, if you are liking the content then please don't forget to subscribe uh, the channel and that's how you can help me and further if you have any queries then uh, don't hesitate to put in the comment section and i will try to reply everyone